Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. Today's topic is the number one factor that derails men. Across the, the board. Across the board. Yeah. And I'm going to start off with... I, I always put this out there that it's the number one factor that derails men from staying getting in shape or staying in shape. Yes. You know, and I and I saw it very early on. I was like in tenth grade and I can actually remember where I was in the high school gym. <laughs> and it was like next to this piece of universal equipment that no longer exists. Yeah. And I said, Hey, you know, like, where's Steve at? I haven't seen him in the gym, you know. Yeah. We're doing off season for football. And the guy goes, Oh man, he got a girlfriend. Uh-huh. And I remember, uh-huh. like an epiphany, I was like, oh, okay. I guess that, that'll keep you out of the gym. And I yeah. was determined not to let anything yeah. get derail my goals. You know what I mean? No. That, and then, and it was just a theory, of course, at that time. And then a couple weeks later, another guy dropped out. Yeah. Because he had a girlfriend. And it was funny because, you know, I don't always learn lessons the first time. <laughs> But I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I can see that. You know, I mean, it was one of those few lessons that I learned, like, really quickly. Yeah. Um, Without actually making it your, the mistake yourself first. No. Go figure. Exactly. And and I've seen it over decades of oh, training now. Even still. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've, I've even had guy clients that get the new wife, and she doesn't want him going to the gym. Yeah. And I've seen it. And he's in his 60s. You're yeah. like, God dang. Well, we deal with that not, I mean, I bet 90% of the ladies that we have, when they get in a relationship, they immediately drop off. Oh, yeah. Immediately. Yeah. I mean, it just, it's interesting, but yeah, with the guys, it derails fast. Yeah, but you see it with the younger guys a lot. Yeah. And I don't believe, a lot of guys always go, well, he got a girl, that's why he was lifting, he wanted to get a girlfriend. No, no. Because a lot of these guys really enjoy lifting, or they yeah. enjoy being, you know, physical. But she puts so much pressure on him. Yeah. And I've, you know, the guys related to, they're like, yeah, she kept going, hey, why don't you just stay home? You know, and I'm like, right. holy shit. Right. You know, so I have always kind of like thought about this only in the sense of fitness. Right. Bunny has seen it in different realms. Well, yeah. I mean... It, this applies to fitness, it applies to your job, it applies to going to class, it applies to working your side hustle. You know, notoriously, girls will, you know, in the mornings will be like, oh, just stay in bed with me a few more, another hour or whatever, don't oh, go to yeah. the gym this morning. Or, oh, just stay in bed with me, call in sick today, you've got sick days. And then be mad that he either eventually gets fired because he's a terrible employee because he keeps calling in sick or just doesn't get promoted as much because he's a terrible employee who keeps calling in sick. And that's true whether he's in upper management or like a gopher. People have to rely in a business sense. You have to be able to rely on the people who you're working with. And if you're making everyone else's life harder because your girlfriend wanted to snuggle extra this morning, that's a problem. That's pretty funny. And as an employer, exactly what Bunny's describing, because with your female employees, you truly don't even expect them to show up consistently. Man. But the guys are your backbone. Yeah. They're the guys that are like going to be there. Like, they're sick. They have an injury. They... We're up at 2 a.m. Yeah. It does not matter. They will be there. In theory. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so when guys start exhibiting, like, what we more feminine behavior because they're flakier. Right. It's not good. Right. You right. know? And, you know, we've talked about, you know, we, we. I used to try to hire women. Right. But the guys had to cover all their shortages, and the guys said, please. No more girls. Right, exactly. You know, so, and the hours are so terrible. You know. I dated a guy who we would, we would, you know, go out or we would have friends over or whatever. And inevitably he would, 
And he would make me call in for him in the mornings to his boss. And I guess under the guise that he was so sick that, you know, he couldn't do it sure. himself. And 30 years later, that man is still in the same job, in the same position, and probably not making a whole heck of a lot more money than he was then. Exactly. Because that kind of habit is truly a habit. It's truly a habit. Oh, sure. If it comes that easily. Yeah. It's truly a habit. That's true. And I mean, I think this applies also to guys who are quote unquote trying uh, to build a side hustle. You know, you can't build a business along with your full time job and family if it's like, oh, just watch, watch this show with me that's really like three hours worth of shows, or oh, don't get up early, you know, to to get that email out to your clients. You know, stay in bed with me. It. You know, I hate to put all of this on girls. I really do because it's it kind of sucks. But it's like men need to be men and still need to take care of what they need to take care of. Well, you have to maintain your frame. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times guys will look back and they'll be like, well, everything that I did to attract her, which was, you know, being full of myself and making my own decisions. And, right. And moving forward. But girls, because guys don't realize that girls will shit test. And that's really what it is. It's like... Is he as strong as he presents himself? Right. And then he starts, like, failing. Yeah. You know, I mean, and a lot of these, I mean, the guys just don't know that at the long, the long term, she's not going to be happy. No. She'll never be happy. There's never enough. It's like somebody reached out to us about his wife wanting him home earlier. Yes. Because yes. he's a finance guy and he gets home like at about eight or nine at night. Well, or he has business dinners many times a week, you know, outings that are theoretically networking events that, you know, kind of look like fun to her. Yeah. And she, she should know better because he's been doing this since they met each other. Yeah. But I one of the few pieces of advice that somebody gave me raw early on was and and I we work in fitness generally and it's the worst hours ever. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, it is. And my new wife, who I had been in fitness the entire time, was like, Well I want you home by about six. Yeah. And I get off like I get out of there like at eight, nine o'clock. And yeah. And I asked one of my mentors, he goes, Look, it will never be enough. Right. She'll want you home at six and then it'll be five. Right. Then it'll be four. And it doesn't, it's just never, so you're, go, you're going to get home. And he also made the suggestion that when she says, what time will you be home? You don't tell her what time you get off. Yeah. You tell her what time you'll be home. Right. You know, what time do you get off? Seven. What time will you be home? 8.30. Yeah. You know, so what time do you get off? 8.30. And then if you walk in the house early, great. Yeah. You it's, know. That's a win. It's true. But it's true. So much of it, you know, and I I do see this on Twitter, so I should make amends. Where the guys are like, if she wants money, I've got to be a hustler, right? You know, so there's always that pulling in different directions. It's rough. Yeah, it's rough. But frame is key because the number one thing that will derail you physically, emotionally, professionally is this kind of shit test that girls will inevitably throw your way. And you have to stay strong. Let me ask this, okay, from the girl's point of view. Yeah. What does she want? Attention. Okay. It's She wants attention. Yeah. You know, here's what's funny about even like the, oh, just stay in bed this morning. She's oftentimes not even talking about sex. She's literally talking about sleep. And snuggle. Like. That's funny. She's not even talking about like, fuck me hard, daddy. And then in 15 minutes, you can go to work. Yeah. She's talking about, let's go back to bed for two more hours and sleep. God. Yeah. You know, that doesn't do anyone any good. No. That's interesting. You That's know, interesting. it's an attention thing. Right. This shit test is all about, she wants your attention. She right. wants your undivided attention. And if you're at work or at the gym or working on your working on your business building that you're doing on the side 
that will create your future, that's about her wanting your attention. And it always fails because if you give it to her once, she'll want it five times. If you give it to her five times, she'll want it a hundred times. That's very nice. And by the time you give it to her a hundred times, she'll be gone. Yeah. Yeah. She loses interest. Yeah. And also you start, things start breaking. Yeah. But I have lost track of the number of men who have come to me and said, I was always in shape. Then I met my now wife. Yeah. And I stopped exercising. It's true. This yeah. shit test is the number one thing that will derail a man's life, and you need to avoid it. Done. If you like this podcast, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. We would love to talk with you. Um, I'm, I'm going to lift something a little bit unique up today uh, in the little sales pitch section of our podcast in that I have just added to my website, myplayboysbunny.com, slash men, if you will go to that page on my website, you can submit questions for any time that I'm doing a Q&A on my live shows. And I've got, I've got a lot of live shows these days because I freaking love them. And I love answering y'all's questions in that forum because if it's something that's challenging you, other men are likely dealing with it too. And so that's the best way that I can find that you can submit a question without it getting lost. So a lot of times guys will DM us questions and unless we follow you back, we're not seeing them. So we want to be able to get those questions and have them in a place where we can always find them because we're doing, you know, live question answer sessions at the end of most of our live, you know, our live shows we're doing dedicated uh, hot seat live question and answer shows all kinds of good stuff so if you have a question for Fort Worth or I please go to myplayboysbunny.com slash men and submit a Q&A we want you to win bye